Hi, my name is Sebastian and I'm a rising senior at Manhattan Ninja Science High School. So the first milestone I had right here was uh, uh, testing out all the values and seeing how the every time I bend or keep these fl these flex centers flat, I can see the values of each one, which it, like basically I can see the resistance and their bend, which would basically like their degrees and like how far they're bent. Um, so right here you can see that uh, I have to plug everything into the analog port, so A0 to A3, and then right here I have to connect everything to 5V and ground, and get everything connected into the uh, breadboard to make sure that all everything is powered on and not just one flex sensor. Um, I'm going to show you the code that I have right here, which I had to which I had to like adjust so that I can see um, all the values of see all the the values for every single flex sensors because at the beginning I can only see the value of just one. So if you can, if you zoom in a little bit on the right hand side, you can see that every time I bend it, the resistance and bend will change. Yeah, and that was pretty interesting. Um, the thing I probably I enjoyed about doing this was um, finally like cha like figuring out what arrays were and how to like ma manipulate them into using so I can use them in my code and then see the values of every single flex sensor, which I, obviously I didn't see at the start. Um, I struggled with the same thing with the code, and the wiring was, was actually the simplest thing I worked with in this entire setup.